Hi, today I will be showing you how to do a BPE and rectovaginal exam. Mayong hapon ma'am, ako si Jomski. Usa ko pag clerk diri sa Veles. Nyagi kan sa tog CIM. Ako ang mabuhat sa mga tests karon. Unsa atong pangahan ma'am? These are the steps that you need to follow. So magbuhat ko og BPE og rectovaginal exam sa imong aron. Explain the procedure and its risks. Ask if she is pregnant and if she just voyaged recently and start the exam. Magsugod na ko ma'am ha. Observe proper hygiene by washing your hands first and putting gloves on both hands after. Prepare also the lubricating jelly. Place the patient in a modified or dorsal lithotomy position with her buttocks at the edge of the table. With BPE, start by inspecting the external parts of the reproductive system of the patient including the mons pubis, labia minora, perineal body, clitoris, and perianal area. Check for any lesions, swelling, or injury, and palpate if there is tenderness. After inspection, apply lubricant on the middle and index fingers of the dominant hand. In the thumb and the ring finger, separating the labia minora, insert the fingers into the vaginal canal gently and slowly pointing posteriorly. Make sure that your thumb is either pointing upward or diagonally to minimize discomfort for the patient. Check for the cervix consistency, tenderness and masses, and also if it is dilated or not. Next, place the other hand on the patient's abdomen, specifically the infraumbilical area, pressing it downwards toward the vaginal fingers. Elevate the uterus by pressing it up on the cervix. Evaluate the uterus for the size, shape, masses, tenderness, and mobility. Next, palpate the adnexa by placing vaginal fingers in the lateral fornix, while the abdominal hand just lateral to the infraumbilical area. Bring two palpating hands together and outline the adnexa and check also for tenderness and masses. Next, for the rectovaginal exam, gently remove the middle vaginal finger and insert it into the anal canal. Evaluate for the sphincter tone, tenderness, nodularities, fixations, and septal thickness and mobility. Lastly, remove both fingers gently and examine for evidence of gross blood, purulent materials, and smell of the discharge. Remember the mnemonic ICWAD and properly annotate or record the result of the exam afterwards. So this is it for this video and I uh, hope you have learned something and um, thank you very much and see you on my next uh, video demonstration.